can't use my GDC, I'm going to use my GDC for the whole thing. And so I'm going to find the gradient of the tangent line at x equal to 2. So I'm going to go to my graph, and I'm going to put in uh, my function. And clear that. ln x minus 1. And I know it has to be uh, bigger than 1, so I'm just going to make my window. I'll just zoom to the regular standard window. Start there. So there's my function. If I want to find the gradient, well, the easiest way to do it is to go second, trace, 6 at the value 2, and a part, I know that g prime at 2 is equal to 1. You have to recognize that that means 1. The calculator is just rounded really poorly. Then it says find the equation of the tangent line at x equal to 2. Well, I could do it algebraically, but I could also do it with my calculator too. And since I have it, I'm going to use it. So I'm going back to my calculator now. I'm going to go to my draw menu. And I'm going to draw the tangent line, number 5, at 2. And there's going to be my tangent. And here's the equation. It says y is equal to 1x minus oh, 2. And that's one of the tricky things is it has extra digits, but I've never figured out how to find those extra digits. Um, here's, yeah, I don't know how to find those extra digits. So I'm going to guess it's that. I'm going to double check it algebraically. Um, and so I know that the point at 2 is going to be g at 2 is going to be ln 2 minus 1, which is ln of 1, which is 0. So the point is 2, 0. Plug it into y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. I prefer this form to find an equation line. y minus 0 equals m is 1, x minus 2, and indeed I get y is equal to x, 1x minus 2 as the tangent. And then finally it says if f of x is this equation, g of x is that, find the intersection. Well again, or find when they're equal. Well again, I'm going to use my calculator to do so. 0.5x minus 3 graph those. I'm going to make sure I turn clear my drawings, clear my drawings, and I can see exactly what I'm looking for. I can see there's two points, so I'm going to find the first one, intersect, uh, first curve, uh, find a point, first curve, Oh, there we go. There's a point now. I'll have first curve, second curve, and it's close to this value here. So the first answer is x is equal to 1.09. That's the three significant figures. And finding the second one, go through the same process. Except now I'm going to go further over. Here's my first curve, second curve. My guess is going to be about 9. Let's see if I actually have it here. Hmm. What that means is I have to go further out. I can see that they're going to that they're going to intersect. So let's me change this window to uh, 20. And now I know for sure they're going to cross over here somewhere. And now if I do my intersection, uh, my first curve, my second curve, I'm going to guess around 15. And I get x is equal to 10.5. And that is the answer. And the only way to solve a linear equal to a logarithm is graphically. You can't do it algebraically. And so here's a question that looks like it's a heavy algebra, but it's really all can be done with a calculator.